Well, hello there, this is Cool Dude Clem, and, um, some of you may have seen Bad Edit Pro's video about, um, Pro Tracks cassette, or something like that, I can't remember what it was he called it. But today, I'm actually going to try to make one of those. I have the right sort of heads for it, and... Well, um, that's enough of me ranting on, I'm just gonna, um... Get on with it now and try to make one. Okay, so let's have a look at what we've got here. Now this is an ordinary average run-of-the-mill cassette deck. And it's been pretty much gutted. I've used it for... You know, used some various parts out of it. You can see I've taken the transformer out of it because I was using that for something else. But luckily it's still got its amplifier board and it's still got the tape transport in it, so should be able to use this as the deck and for the heads you may remember this from one of my previous videos the gem turbo tracks well if we take a closer look at the heads on this this is um as close as i can get the camera to it without having to zoom because the picture on my camera goes dark for some inexplicable reason when i zoom but you can see that the um, recording areas on each head you can see that will stretch across the entire width of the tape I might be able to get a better picture of this if I zoom for some reason the camera is refusing to zoom it's coming into focus, it's coming into focus ah there we go now you can see the um, each recording area on the head so that will stretch across the entire width of the tape and with this kind of head I'll be able to make a two track stereo recording hopefully so let's start I hope my sound isn't so clipped this time I had the um, as you probably know I don't use the camera's microphone to record I use um, one of my other tape recorders I'm currently recording the sound on a cassette recorder and I had the level turned up too much and uh, I also had the bias all the way down, so I've turned the bias up and I've turned the record level down, so it shouldn't be so clipped this time. Anyway, I'm just going to get the I'm going to get the tape transport out now. If you're wondering why I've got the band-aid on my arm at the moment, it's because I shot myself on something earlier and I uh, jerked my aunt, jerked my arm away and scratch myself anyway let's just get this out oh oh dear I've noticed the motor is missing looks like I've taken more out of this than I originally thought so I'm just going to find a spare motor now and put that in but I'll pause the camera while I do that right you can now see that I've taken the deck out and here it is and you can see that I have put the motor in it I couldn't find a spare motor for it but I have another cassette deck like this which I just simply ripped the transport out as you can see there and um, this still has the um, this still had the belt on it so I didn't need to replace the belt okay heads out as you can see there and I don't know why I moved that because I could just move the camera here is um the original head and the head I'm going to replace it with. This is the original head out of the um well original head out of that and the head to the left of it is the one out of the turbo tracks. Now when I was taking it out I was a little bit worried that it might not fit in the thing but fixings are exactly the same. The heads are the same length Sorry I'm a bit faint at the moment, but I cannot hold the microphone and this at the same time, but you can see or rather can't see, but they are the they are the same length and the this one's just a little bit wider, but the fixings will work. So I just gotta put this head in this. Okay, I've put the head from the Gem Turbo tracks in there now. And it's wired 
to the amplifier. So I'm now going to put a tape in to test it, test that this thing is working. I have it connected to a 12 volt power supply. So let's see what happens when I press play. We should hear one song forwards and the other one backwards. I Yes, I think that's pretty much working. Now, WMG, try to do something about this. Yes, because I'm um, filming in mono right now, so you won't even be able to separate the forward song and backward song. But anyway, now we know. Now we know it. Now we know it plays, let's try recording. Okay, I've got a blank tape in there. Well, it's blank at where it is right now. It isn't blank at the beginning, but I found some blank space on tape because the erase head is only going to erase one, you know, either the left or the right. And it's not it's not going to erase both tracks on the tape. And I'm going to put this my microphone is feeding back a bit, but I'm going to move the camera back a little bit if I can. I've got a lot of wires stretched across here at the moment and it's a bit difficult. Now if this is successful I will put this deck properly in there. But I'm just going to find a song to do a test recording with. Okay I've got myself all sorted out now. Now I'm going to start this recording. So the tape is turning. And I've got the PSP all queued up with the song sure some of you will recognize this if you've ever played Sonic. Well, you should be able to hear it, but it's not coming through. Hang on a minute. Okay, now it is recording. I don't know if there's any law against using game tunes in my videos, but... If it gets deleted, I'll just upload it again with a different song, but anyway. I'll leave this recording now. Right, I've now made a recording on this. I'm just going to rewind it. I have no idea how well it came out, or even if it recorded anything at all, because... I'm not sure if this head is at all suitable, but... Let's just press play and see what happened. <laughs> just like that Nintendo 64 game, Rocket Okay, that's just me being stupid. Rewound the tape too far. That was not recorded on this. Well, there it is, but it's quite faint. See if I can turn it up a bit so we can hear it. Okay, well that's about it. It looks like I'll have to make a few tweaks to it to make it record louder, but yeah. There we go, there is um, Pro Tracks Cassette, or um, whatever it was he called it. And until next time, goodbye. Thank mm -hmm. you.